Okay, let's start our virtual tour for our essential upgrades projects at St. Martin Medical Center. We're actually in the main hallway at this uh, area, uh, close to the med search ward, and we can already see two projects that are already completed. One of them is our fire detection system, which is an addressable system. So we have uh, pool stations, uh, indicators, smoke detectors in all rooms. Uh, besides that, we also have the CCTV cameras. We have cameras installed, which was a good project, and this was installed by our ICT department. And then one of the projects that is still on our way, we can also see in this area, is the medical gas project. We're gonna install, actually this is already installed, the new medical gas distribution system, which will have uh, gases like the nitrous nitrous oxide, uh, the vacuum, medical air, and oxygen. Okay, let's move on to our next essential upgrade project, which is a civil works project in our med search patio. So let's walk with me. As you can see already, we have all plywood here in the hallway, which is our construction fencing, protecting our hospital staff and patients from any of the construction activities that are ongoing in our med search patio. We're gonna enter the construction site via an emergency exit only door. And please, let's enter our site, double patient room project. As you can see, the construction is fully on its way. And we still have a lot of jacks in place supporting uh, the roof that is recently poured. Uh, the current of a patient room project consists of five uh, patient rooms uh, with a sanitary area in place. And the nice thing about this project is, is that the layout for these rooms are exactly the same as the layout for our general hospital uh, uh, double patient rooms. So our staff can already practice and get familiar with our layouts of the rooms. Besides that, we also have an area which will uh, be used as a bed wash area and a little bit of storage capacity at the other end. This area here will be part of the hallway area which will be connected to our existing hallway behind the hurricane shutters here. After, of course, uh, when this is already in place, the hurricane shutters will be removed and also the plywood wall and this will become one interior area of our master ward. Okay, well let's move on to another construction site, which is next to this one. This is our new OR complex, how we call it. Also here you can see that the exterior is a steel structure and the exterior paneling is already put in place. On our ground floor, we have several functions. We have two new level one ORs, an interior hallway, a sluice where the patients will be brought into, and a recovery room with three positions. Our uh, support functions are actually located upstairs. As you can see, the staircase is not finalized as yet, so I cannot take you up to the next level. But on top, there's also uh, a dressing room area will be there, uh, offices and sanitary facilities for our staff. Let's move outside. This is going to be the, also the emergency exit from this building. As we walk around uh, the OR complex building, as you can see, the paneling is already in place. This is actually uh, protective uh, film, so this will be removed, so it will be all white uh, building. And moving on from here, we're walking on to uh, our next project, which is the uh, dialysis and oncology building. Uh, the building is split. Uh, the first part we're going to see is the oncology uh, area of the other projects. The big difference between actually the OR project as you can see and the projects that we're taking you at this time is the actually the building method. 
Uh, both five double patient room project and the OR complex are built out of a steel structure with paneling. The uh, reason for this was that the construction time, so the assembling of the building was actually a shorter time because it was very close to our staff and our patients. One of the more traditional building methods is our dialysis and oncology building, which is constructed out of uh, reinforced concrete, concrete blocks, beams and a concrete uh, roof. So let's go and explore our oncology department. This is part going to be part of our oncology waiting room area. So the wall in between will be taken out so the area will be bigger and this was part of our existing um, structure already. As we go to the other side, we are here entering our oncology department. As you can see, we're already in the finishing stage. So painting is being done, walls are already in place. So what we currently have is a nursing station as you can see so there will be a place for two, two, nurse, two nurses uh, station and desks um, as we move on we have a sanitary facility for uh, the patients here we have enter a nurses station or actually office uh, which will consist also of a little small pantry uh, desk area uh, and a sanitary facility for our staff. Okay, the oncology department actually uh, can facilitate five chairs in total. Four of which will be in the common area. And one will be here in this separate area for the patients that are very, very sick. They have a separate area for uh, to treat one oncology uh, patient with its own sanitary facility as well. As we move on, we'll go now to the other side of the building, which is going to be the dialysis expansion. Sorry. That's okay. Please come in. of the building will be painted in our regular St. Mark's Medical Center colors, which is the standard off-white and the specific green for the columns that get to exit to the building. The, actually, the architecture of this building has also been inspired by our existing uh, St. Mark's Medical Center, with the higher windows providing privacy to our patients inside. actually via the emergency exit for our dialysis patients. This will not be the uh, entrance for the patients itself, it will only be used for emergency purposes. The new entrance is actually on this side which is the uh, waiting room area and they'll go in via the existing dialysis department. But for the, the our virtual tour we're just gonna go in via the emergency. On our left there's the double doors, which are uh, behind those double doors are our existing dialysis departments. In here we'll have a little storage area, an electrical panel box will be installed, so you can see all the cables already coming down this area. Alright, and now we're moving forward actually to our dialysis expansion. Also this area has a nursing station facilitating at least one or two nurses. Then we have an area where an open area where we can uh, in total 
facilitate seven chairs, so seven positions for dialysis patients we can put in place in this area. Of course, also the area has uh, a sanitary facility in place, so there's a shower and toilet combination coming in here, a hand washing, and actually this area on the side is specifically for uh, technical um, storage, but also for some maintenance. So this area will be used by the biomass where they can also see if the dialysis machines are working properly or do maintenance on the machines separately from uh, the patients itself. Okay, I think uh, this kind of concludes our tour for now. And uh, if there's any questions, I'm welcome to answer you.